go. Hey babes, today is exciting because I am going to be, oh no, let's not show my address, um, reviewing Revolution Pro. Look at this box, it says we fight for quality, we fight for speed, we fight for diversity, we fight for you. That's so good. That's a good marketing CSR strategy. I see you, Amure. Uh, I meant revolution. Uh, <laughs> I got eyeshadows, I've got highlighters, I've got eyeshadows, I've got brow products, I've got brow products, <laughs> I've got foundation, I've got lip products, I've got concealer, primers, a lot of different things. I tried to get something from each eyes, lips, face category. They do have brushes as well, and I do believe they've got setting sprays and of the sort. Baking oils, they've got so many different products. Basically, Revolution Pro is just an extensive product range that is um, basically copying a bunch of different products from different brands. <laughs> um, basically, these dupe a lot of different high-end products. This, to me, the whole primer range looks a lot like the Makeup Forever HD line. This is like the Huda Beauty highlighter palette. But you know, I'm not mad. I am actually really, really excited to try Revolution Pro. A lot of people have been doing videos about it. The product that I'm most excited about is the Revolution Pro Regeneration Trans Mischief Matte Palette because it's so bright. And I reckon I'm gonna do like a cool toned look because a lot of people have used like the reds and the oranges and that looks, but I want to go cool toned. So I'm probably gonna use like the purples, the blues, uh, maybe the greens. We'll see. We'll see the kind of look that I go for. Let's test these products out. I have not tried a single one. The pore primer is seven pounds. Seven pounds. There's a lot of air in this. I got the pore primer. So let's see how she do. The packaging is really, really nice. Okay, right off the bat, the look is very much like the professional. Oh yeah, exactly like the professional. Mmm, doesn't have a scent. It feels really nice. Yeah, you know what? That's pretty good. I'm not really super into primers. I think my foundation lasts pretty good on its own anyway. But this definitely smooths the skin out a lot. I like that. But it does have um, 25 mils of product. Okay, so I actually have two different foundations. I have the Revolution Pro Full Cover Foundation in F12. And I also use the Revolution Conceal and Define in 12 as well. I use a bunch of different shades, but this one seems to have matched me the most and was the most yellow tone in the store. But we'll have to see once I apply it onto the skin. And I also got the same shade in the Revolution Pro foundation drops. So this, and this is glass. This is glass. This is sick, you guys. So the foundation was um, both seven pounds. So all the face products so far are seven pounds. So that's pretty cheap for a foundation. Seven pounds is, to me, it's, yeah, it's kind of low. You know what? I, ooh, shit. I just, okay, so I just took off the plastic packaging and it's like a, it's like a boiled glass, like a matte glass packaging. I really, really like that. It's got 18 mils of product, so a little bit lower than your, you know, your fluid ounce because a fluid ounce foundation obviously is 30 mil, which is usually what you get in foundation. So I'm just going to do the left side of my face. And I'm just going to blend this in with my Morphe Beauty Sponge. Yeah, it's, it's a match. It's a match. Swipe right, you guys. It's a match. Ooh, let's check for coverage. This is nice coverage, you guys. I... Uh, 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 uh. This is not... Yo, this completely matches my face. I would say this is like, you know, light medium. It's nice, it evened out my skin. I'm a fan of that. This The finish is like dewy, which I like. I love dewy foundations because my skin is already dry as it is. Let's add some moisture into that. I give that a two. Let's, I can already tell this is a lot thicker than the previous foundation. I'm gonna do this side of my face and we can compare the two sides together. Yep, it's exactly the same shade, so the range does not differ in sort of shade. 
I'd say this is definitely a lot more for coverage. But it doesn't feel it doesn't feel cakey. Oh, foundation on my bandana, standard. Okay, if we compare the two sides together, I definitely do think that um, you can see my eye bags here, but on this side, it's a lot more covered. Don't you think? It's a lot more covered. I wouldn't even say that it's, you know, too thick. I think it's just a good full coverage foundation. I like that. Yo, stop. This is good. This is like really good. I'm enjoying it. Um, I actually have two eyebrow products and I've got the Revolution Eyebrow Cushion. I, I know that Iconic London has a similar product so I'm really glad that there's a cheaper version now. Revolution Pro, thank you. I bought the shade in dark brown and um, I'm very excited to try this because I've never tried a brow cushion before. They've got a bunch of different shades and I also got the Revolution Pro microblading effect in dark brown. Who doesn't want their eyebrows microbladed? I know I do, for sure. Um, this is kind of like the Anastasia. I've got the Anastasia brow is right here. The top, the one on the top and it's obviously um, the same thing. You can see here the tips are the same and they also have a spoolie. I think it's really good that they've got spoolies. I think every eyebrow pencil should have a spoolie. I don't really like to use eyebrow pencils, but I really wanted to try this out and see what it's about. Um, because it says microblading, you know? Uh, I like to draw in hairs on the inner corner. It's definitely very precise. I really like how tiny it is. Oh, this is four pounds, by the way. This is a good brow. This is a good brow. It's quite natural from what I'm used to, to be honest. But now I am going to be using the Revolution Pro Eyebrow Definer Cushion. So this costs five pounds and it comes in a matte black packaging. It comes with a mirror and it comes with a little lid on the inside as well. Okay, remove this seal before using, close the cap tightly after using. I guess that's because it might dry out. I'm just saturating, I'm just saturating my brush. You know, I thought this was going to be really, really wet, but it's actually not. And you can see that the shades are identical to each other. So that's really good. I thought this would be more wet, you know. It's a very, very dry product. Are uh, the two brows. You can see that this one definitely gives a more defined look. I'm going to open up the Revolution Pro Full Cover Camouflage Concealer. This is apparently supposed to be able to cover tattoos, so I'm expecting it to be full coverage. I'm super, super into squeezy tube concealers, so I'm pumped to try her out. And I got the shade in C8, by the way. Oh, she's thick. Yes, she's thick from what I can feel. And I like thick. You know what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm actually gonna put it on my lids as well, just because it's like actually a really sticky base. And um, I'm gonna use it as a little. I'm gonna use it as my primer. I've got two different eyeshadow products. I've got the Revolution Pro Mischief Mattes, which is basically a whole bunch of rainbow shades, and I'm so, so pumped to use this because, I don't know, everyone seems to be using this online. When I went to the store, they had so many of like the neutral ones. They've got like four different neutral ones, but I really wasn't into it. I thought that a lot of the colors I already had, and Let's try something new, you know? They've got a white and a black, and they do have some kind of like neutral shades in there, like this one, this like pale yellow. Upper hand, that is uh, brown as well, so you can make like sort of um, neutral looks like that. So what I'm gonna do is take this blue, which is called Indication. I really like the fact that they, these have got names, by the way, and I'm just gonna pop that into the crease. There's a little bit of kickback on the pan, but I don't mind that, just as long as, stop it. This eyeshadow is so pigmented. What? <laughs> ah! 
much of my top. I'm gonna use Crusade, which is this lighter blue color, and pop that right above it. This is gonna help blend that shade out. I'm gonna take my MAC 224, and this has no product on it, and I'm just gonna blend and buff that blue out. Apply the blue again, right here on the outer corner, and wing it out like that. These eyeshadows are really easy to work with, I'm not even trying that hard to get this pigment to go on. And again, use Crusade, just as a blending tool. I'm going to use the Revolution Pro Concealer again, and what I'm going to do is cut my lid shape, and I'm going to do a winged out lid shape. I'm going to use the um, Saint, which is the white, and pop that onto the inner. That white is actually quite nice. It's not as good as Taco from Sugar Pill, but it's still quite nice. I'm going to use the shade in Believer, which is a green. It's like an apple green. And apply that onto the outer. Yes! Do you see how pigmented that is? Okay, I'm into that. I'm into her. And then I'm going to use New Day which is a yellow. I love yellow eyeshadow so much, so if this bangs, I'm into it. I'm into it. I'm into it. Are you into it? I feel like this looks like a flag. Which flag does this look like? Brazil. Hey. Don't forget to blend in, obviously, like, kind of in between all these three colors, the white, the yellow, and the green. I'm gonna look like a parrot by the end of this video. Trust. Revolution Pro actually do have a black and a white eyeliner, but I don't have those with me right now because I already got my favorites. I've got my Barry M and my NYX one, so I'm just gonna do a little creative look with this. I'm gonna line my eyes with this and then draw my crease with the white. So what I'm gonna do now is use my Tarte The Gifted Mascara, and I'm going to pop on my Backstage Beauty eyelashes. And now what you can see me doing is, I'm on my mic right now just because my mic was not actually on during the filming of my concealer, but this concealer is no joke, I'm not even gonna lie, it's literally no joke, it's so thick and full coverage, and I love it, I'm actually in love. After that, I'm going to be using my PS setting powder. They do have a setting powder, but I didn't get it just because I know what I like and that is not what I liked. Because um, I think it was a white powder, I'm not into that. Back into the eyes, I'm going to be using Ringleader because I want to use some of the pinks. So I apply that in between the blue and just the bare lash line. And I also use New Day, which is the yellow, again, just because I want to um, brighten the inner corner up a little bit, which kind of made it into a rainbow look. And what I am doing right now is using my Claire's Jumbo Pencil in neon pink, and oh, <laughs> you know I'm gonna pop that into the waterline. I'm now gonna use Fearless, and I'm gonna set the waterline. I am using Shrine right now just so that I can blend the blue and the pink together a little bit more seamlessly. Going with my 224 over the whole lash line just to blend everything through. I'm not going to use a mascara on the lower lash line because I don't want any of this eyeshadow work to be covered. So I do not have the contour powders that Revolution do have. Um, they come in like the single pans. But what I'm going to use is my old Tati Revolution Pro Ultra Contour Palette. You can see it's very beaten up and I've hit pan on three of the shades. And I'm just going to use this as my contour in bronze. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've used this for absolutely years, I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> I love the name, Glisten here. Like, listen here. Um, these are five press glitter refill eyeshadows. So these are the five pans and you've popped this into the palettes, which they do have. They have um, five pan 
refill eyeshadows they've got the glitter ones and then they've also got the normal matte and shimmer ones and you don't really get these in the drugstore so I'm really really super excited you can only get these sort of super super glittery eyeshadows in you know um, independent makeup companies online this is called twinkle right before we do that though let's um, let's swatch this copper one okay so she's super gritty stop this one's called beacon I'm I pardon what did you say did you just call me um okay I'm excited since I used the concealer as a base I'm just gonna use that again for the glitter base you know because it's quite sticky I'm just gonna apply this on the transition where the pink is okay I'm gonna dip my finger in here it's very gritty um, but it's like soft like you can squish it in you can press down on it and it says that it applies best with your fingers so I'm gonna do that Ah, <laughs> yes okay I've never tried one of these type of eyeshadows before so this is very new to me stop okay that definitely made the look it's just so much better blush makeup geek in spellbound cute pink I feel like this video is so long you guys but I'm having so much fun trying out all these products I've got a lot of thoughts this is the Revolution Pro 4K highlighter palette in gold they've also got a rose gold version I love this packaging by the way so it's cardboard yeah but um, it's matte and then when you turn it it's um, shiny so cute so cute and you get four shades they don't have names but they do come with four highlighter shades you get a white a bronze kind of like a bronzy gold and a true gold kind of like Fenty Beauty you know what whatever that sick highlighter was these are the swatches of the eyeshadows uh, highlighters are very very pigmented very 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 pigmented but you know let's see how they apply onto the skin <laughs> By the way, at work, you guys, today, I literally, I was putting some stuff in one of the staff members' boot, and I hit my head on the boot. So, my nose, he, so it hit my nose, and it hurts to touch it. Thank gosh it isn't bruised or anything. Okay, we're finally on the final product, you guys. Can you guys believe it? I am um, mm, tired. <laughs> But I'm loving this look, I'm not gonna lie, this look is sick. I am going to be using, again, with this matte packaging, I live. This is a uh, matte packaging on the lid, and then like shiny on the actual product, and you get a little window where you can see the color of the product. This is the Pro Supreme Matte Lip Pigment, and there's a bunch of different shades in this. Um, so many, so many, so many different shades. Um, I swatched a lot of them in the store, and this was the shade that I wanted. Okay, so it's got this flat tip applicator. It doesn't have a smell at all. So, okay. Mm, this is a swatch of the product. It's kind of like a moussey texture, kind of like the NYX matte lip creams. This color is lovely. I really like this color because it's pale and I actually like these sort of tones on my skin. I feel like it makes me look so tan. Stop it. I am obsessed with this look. The primer is alright. I mean, I don't really use primers like that. I'm gonna have to try it a little bit more for longer just cause you can't really um, give a review on a primer like that right off the bat. But I'll tell you that it's smooth. But yeah, good. I also like the two foundations as well. They are both very different in that way and I'm excited to see how long they last on my skin. Really recommend this product. Really, really recommend this. This is so full coverage. If you want thick concealer, this is the one. In terms of the eyeshadow palette, I give this such a two. This is probably like my favorite and there's a lot of good products in this, this range, honestly. I really, really, really am such a fan of the range i think there's so many unique products like these glitter products listen 
I'm gonna give the whole brand Revolution Pro a 2. There's no boots. There's no boots. I'm gonna wear my boots and go to Superdrug and, um, you know, buy some more products probably because these are sick products. I'm telling you, you need to try these out if you're into products and trying new products out. They are not very expensive. Obviously, I spent a little bit more money because I wanted to try pretty much an extensive range of the products, but I'm so into it. I am so into this look and I'm so into the products. So, um, if you guys like this video, please let me know down below. You know how we do. Talk to me on Twitter, talk to me on Instagram, all of that. You can DM me. I really don't mind. Um, I love you, all five of you. Bye, guys.